go off and make love to a right. girlfriend in a bordello. Yeah. What's the motivation for that? Now, the way I look at that, you know, it, it, that was a suggestion of the uh, director. And I, I accept it in such a way, and that is him being a very simple man, when all of a sudden he, you know, he made up his mind that he's going to go and either die, either kill or be killed, right? So he walked past by, it's a kind of a sudden thing of human being that a thought just occur, well, doggone it, man, such is the basic need of a human being. I might as well enjoy it, man, before I kick the bucket, you know, like that type of an attitude. I mean, it's a, you cannot say it's a, it, it, it's just an occurrence, you know. I think you'd probably agree, Bruce, that yes. the thing that's limited the, the appeal of Chinese films to Western audiences is that it's very unusual to find a Chinese actor who can act. And when I say that, I, I mean act in a Western style, in a yeah. manner that... Uh, would make non-Chinese pay money to see them. Uh, you seem to have crossed that barrier. How do you think you've achieved it? Uh, do you think it has to do with your time in the United States? Oh, you yes. studied there, didn't you? Yes, it definitely has, you know, because uh, when I first arrived there, you know, I did the Green Hornet, you know, television series back in 65. And as I look around, man, I mean, I saw a lot of human beings. And as I look at myself, I was the only robot there because I was not being myself, and I'm trying to accumulate external security, external uh, technique, uh, the way to move my arm, the way, but never to ask and say what Bruce Lee would have done if, the word if, such a thing happened to me. When I look around, I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate him. Now, that seems to me that that is the prevalent thing happening in Hong Kong. Like they always copy mannerism, but they never start from the very root of his being, and that is, how can I be me? I mean, you see, I never believed the word star. That's an illusion, man. I mean, that's something public calls you, you see. And when you become successful, when you become famous, it's very, very easily to be blinded by all these happenings. Everybody come up to you with Mr. Lee. When you have long hair, they will say, hey, man, like, that's the in, man, baby. That's the in thing. But if you have no name, they will say, boy, look at that, this disgusting juvenile delinquent. Mm. I mean, too many people are yes, yes, yes to you all the time, you see? So unless you really at that time have gone through quite a lot and understand what life is about, and that right now, man, some game is happening and realizing such that that is a game, fine and dandy, then it's all right. But most people tend to be blinded by it because, I mean, if things are repeated too many times, you believe in it and it becomes a habit. The danger is, is, is believing the, the public impression of you, That's isn't right, it? That's right, man. Uh, your father warned you about the bad things in show business. Yes. Have you met them, too? Oh, Apart from the illusion? Of course. Of course. You seem to have come out of it remarkably well. Well, let me put it this way. Uh, to be honest and all that, I am not as bad as some of them. But I definitely am not saying that I am a saint. <laughs> okay? Bruce, could we go back to the fighting? Because yes. like it or not, it's the thing that um, you're mainly identified with yes. at this moment. You know a number of styles of fighting, uh, karate, judo, yes. Chinese boxing. Yes. And it's a question you must have been asked hundreds of times before. Yes. Which do you think is the most effective? You see, um, my answer to that is this. There is no such thing as an effective segment of a totality. By that I mean, I personally do not believe in the word style. Why? Because unless there are human beings with three arms and four legs, unless we have other group of beings on Earth that are structurally different from us, then there might be a different style of fighting. Now, why is that? Because 
We have two hands and two legs now. The important thing is how can we use it to the maximum in terms of path, well, straight line, curved line, huh? uh, round line. They might be slow, but depending on the circumstances, sometimes that might not be slow. And in terms of legs, you can kick up straight. Same thing, right? Physically, how can I be very so well coordinated? That means you have to be an athlete. That means you gotta have jogging and all this basic in ingredient, right? Now, and after all that, then you ask yourself, how can you honestly express yourself at that moment? And being yourself, when you punch, you really want to punch. Not you want to punch because trying to avoid not getting hit, but to really be in with it and express yourself. Now that is the out, that is to me the most important thing, and that is how can I, in the process of learning how to use my body, to understand myself. Now the unfortunate thing is, now there's boxing, which is hands, judo, which is throwing. Now I'm not putting them down, mind you, but I'm saying one thing that is a bad thing, and that is because of styles, people are separated. They are not united together because styles became law, man. But the original founder of the style started out with hypotheses. <laughs> but now it has become the gospel truth. And people that go into it, man, became the product of that. It doesn't matter how you are, who you are, how you are structured, how you are built, how you are made. It doesn't matter. You just go in there and be that product. And that, to me, is not right. Bruce Lee, thank you. Ted, I thank you, man.